Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimples On Demand. Today is Friday, September the 17th, I think. Friday, September the 18th. Um, it's like 4.50. I am off of work and I am headed to do a double ship pickup from Party City. Um, they, I don't know what the order contains, probably some balloons. Um, both orders are going to the same exact customer. So I figured why not? I mean, <laughs> things have just been so slow. So I'm like, you know what? Stay in the right lane. Oh, thanks for interrupting my video. So I am going to go pick up that order right now. And yeah, hope everybody had a great week. Uh, it's not easy, man. <laughs> Life is not easy, but stay positive. <laughs> it will be okay. <laughs> anyway, I will touch base with you once I get in Party City. There's no way. And you said it can't be split up? I could fit some in the back and then some in the back in the trunk, but I cannot. Where did I go wrong in life? Like, I thought I did all the right things. I went to school, I didn't do drugs. Not that any of those things are right or wrong, but I'm just saying. I got a master's degree and look at this. All these damn balloons. Anyway. Um, there's a million balloons. So they broke up the the big bunch into about six clusters. I cannot carry or transport all six clusters. Um, I think the individual that has all the clusters, he should have taken all these damn balloons. I'm out of here. The individual who was picking this up, like they need to have car restrictions on who can actually carry these um, items. Anyway, I'm headed there. If I go missing, I'll be floating on Mars somewhere. I'm gonna be like the guy from Up. But wish me luck, I'm on my way to drop this off. So that order was dropped off. It was me and a gentleman in a pickup truck that had to retrieve the, the uh, balloons. And honestly, he could not have done it in his car by himself and I could not have done it in my car by myself. So whatever, like ship to something else. <laughs> um, oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. So yeah, the customer, you know what always surprises me? Like customers that order a bunch of things, whether it be groceries, balloons, whatever. And then when you get to them and you're freaking like overwhelmed with the items that they have, they're like, oh my God, it's a lot. Girl, you knew that you ordered this. Like, I don't know. Oh my God, it's a lot. I'm like, you ordered 500 balloons, like sis, please. But whatever, she ended up giving, so she said she tipped $10 on the app but the order was too large and had to be divided into three orders. I picked up two of the three and the gentleman of course picked up the other one. So the tip was split into three. So on both orders, I got $3.33 and I'm assuming the gentleman also got $3.33 just to make it, it's $9.99. So where's our penny shipped? But anyway, um, yeah, she ended up giving an extra $8. She's like, oh, I wasn't expecting two cars. And in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, imagine if I had like a Honda Civic with those balloons. Like, come on, uh, whatever. And then the girl at, at Party City is like, oh, can you make two trips? I said, no, I won't. I can, yes, but I won't make two trips. You crazy? Anyway, um, yeah, she gave us an extra $8 and the gentleman, being a gentleman, he was like, you can take the five and I'll take the three. Like, oh, God. 
where's my king like this it's just three dollars but you know yeah so um whatever oh do i have my ship card please tell me i do i just want to show you the five that she gave um please god tell me i have my ship card mm. sure do yeah so i'm on my way to target right now to pick up an order it's paying between 18 and 22 dollars honestly i don't know i don't understand the range so i'm just gonna say hopefully i get the 18 dollars plus a tip so yeah uh i think that's it i'm gonna try to pick up a merchandiser app gig as well while i'm there because i saw that one was available and it looks pretty damn easy so i'm going to shoot for that and if i do i will record that so you guys can see because i know it's been a while since i've done one so stay tuned i'm here in target i'm gonna do the merchandiser gig it's to Ooh. oh god this is the section that i'm gonna be working with Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me well, but I have not checked in in quite a while. Um, after I did that Target order, I decided to sign on to DoorDash and Uber Eats, and I ended up picking up um, an order for both simultaneously right across the street from each other. Dropped them off, went pretty well. I picked up two additional DoorDash orders. Um, I'll show the payouts on the screen because I really don't remember the payouts. And right now I just picked up an Uber Eats order. The customer lives seven minutes away and I'm headed to drop it off. So I'm having a pretty good night, all right? So I will come back. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue to do orders, but I definitely will. Um, it's all noise area. I definitely will keep you guys updated. Good morning, guys. It is September the 19th um saturday it's 11 15 and i am just doing my first order um yeah i was looking all morning and i really didn't see glasses are dirty <laughs> i was looking all morning and i really didn't see anything that was worth me doing and then an order came up for a hundred and twenty eight dollars and ninety nine cents so let's just say 129 thank you no problem um yeah so you know i snatched that order up so quick but when i looked at the logistics of the order it just it didn't make any sense it had over 500 pounds worth of water 12 cases of water yeah, like I was saying, um, when I checked out the order, it just was not worth it at all. Like, it was picking up from Costco, which you already know, Costco items are heavy. And then, yo, my car, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to make it. I don't think anybody in a normal car, SUV, would have been able to make it. Maybe a Ford F-150 or like a box truck, but there were so many items and it was so heavy that there was no way. So yes, it was $128, but honestly that order should have been at least 200, maybe 230. Like it wasn't worth it at all. So 
Like I said last week, not every order is meant to be taken. And I feel like Instacart paired those two together because one of those customers was a low tipper because they like to t uh, pair the low tippers with, you know, somebody that tips decent. So you think, oh my God, I'm, I'm doing so good. I got a big order. No, you're not. Like it's all a scam. So I swiftly uh, canceled that batch and accepted the increase in the cancellation rate because there's no way. Like I probably would've been doing that order for at least three hours and they were, the distances were so far, like no. So I am here picking up my first order. It's paying $26, but honestly, it's so easy. Like the supermarket is here and the customer's house is right behind the supermarket. So, and I've delivered there before. It's an apartment building, but you don't have to go upstairs because they have doormen that come and pick up the groceries. So I'm gonna shop this real quick. Um, I'm hoping for uh, $200 today, <laughs> but it is 11 o'clock. So I don't know who I'm fooling. But it's all good like we're positive about this right we can do this anyway just got my final warning to start this darn batch so i will get back to you guys when i am finished all right guys i dropped off that order and i want to show you how close it is so this is the apartment building and we're just going to go down this little hill and I'll show you what the supermarket is. <laughs> so yeah, um, that order went pretty smooth. What else did I wanna tell you guys? Okay, so I want you guys to get to know your stores that you're shopping, especially for Instacart. You know that mo many tips are percentage-based tips. And if an item is missing, then you lose out. Well, not lose out, but your tip decreases because of the missing item or low stock whatever um if you go to a store in the morning or whenever and you already know they don't have bounty or they don't have i don't know a specific uh, something whatever the item is a specific brand of pasta or whatever something that you know the customer does not want to change notate that to yourself right and when you see orders thereafter that contains those items remember oh yeah they don't have this so there's going to be a strong possibility where there is no possible replacement right they want clark swipes or whatever look here goes the supermarket you see how quick that was so this order made sense to take because literally it was a one minute drive um so anyway um yes like i was saying if you notice that this specific item was not in the store when you went there earlier, there's a strong possibility it's not gonna be there later on as the day gets later, right? So these hot commodities, they go fast. Clorox wipes, Lysol spray, Bounty, those kind of things. They go very quickly. Later on in the day, don't pick up an order that has six, um, bounty request or whatever because you already know they don't have it or if there's no paper towel whatsoever so you can bet your bottom dollar that your tip is going to decrease if it's a percentage based tip because they don't have that item so i say all of this to say not only do you need to choose your batches wisely don't be so enticed by the payout but also think about damn i might lose money because they don't have this specific item and there is no possible replacement so this is my little tip for you guys um today seems like it's gonna be a very slow day because i don't even see any orders worthwhile but it's what time is it Ooh, almost crashed it is 12 something and we still got time to make money so yeah let's just see i need to make 200 today for real so we'll see. I am back. I took a, not even a short break, a very long break. Um, 
I did take another Instacart order. It paid $58. I think I was in and out of there in like 40 minutes. Uh, and it was 10 minutes to the customer's location to drop off. And now I'm doing a delivery only Instacart. Um, it's only paying $13, but the reason I took it is because number one, the customer lives down the block from the store. And number two, the store has something that I want. So I'm like, I gotta go to the store anyway. I might as well get paid to go, you know? So I'm gonna do that. And I think that Instacart pretty much has died down for the day. It was a very slow, um, Saturday and I don't know if that has to do with the holiday that uh, started yesterday I don't know so um, yeah I'm gonna do DoorDash and Uber because I had some success last night I made $72 in an hour and a half and I think that's very good <laughs> so yeah uh, when I do finish up this one, we'll see what else is available. And if nothing else is available, we're going to do the food deliveries. Okay, I am doing DoorDash. It is 8.50. I got a DoorDash order. It's paying $9. Um, and you know what? I think it's best for me to explore... Uh, the area and get to know the neighborhoods so i'm picking up from a greek restaurant called greek market cafe i'll show you guys what it looks like so i'm only staying out until 10 o'clock because i have things to do but yeah um let's go let's see what this is about I don't even look open are they open Hold up, Mercy. All right. Good morning. Back for another day. And it's Sunday, the 20th, I think. It's, what time is it? 8.05. And it's cold. <laughs> it's like 40 something degrees. Um, I just got my first Instacart order, picking up from King's. I believe it's paying $64. So it's not a lot of items, it's 39 items, which is great. Um, Instacart is running a promotion today. I don't know if you guys can see me, but Instacart is running a promotion today where if you do four orders, if you do four orders and don't make at least $58 prior to the tip, Instacart is guaranteeing the remainder or the difference of the $58. Um, I don't know <laughs> what kind of promo this is, but you know, I mean, anything, something is better than nothing. I believe that after four orders, maybe I'll be um, past that 58, but I don't know, whatever. If I make it, whatever. If I don't get it, it's fine too. Um, yeah, last night I stayed out in, until about 10, 30 or 20, 10, 20 something, doing Uber Eats and uh, DoorDash. <sighs> Boy. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Anyway, it's so damn bright. I will see you guys when I get to King's. Taking a little break. Um, I ended up picking up an Instacart order. It was paying 30 something dollars initially. I think it was like $32. And I communicated with the customer, shopped, was at her house, and I've delivered to her before. Um, she ended up increasing the tip from $17 to $53. So very excited, especially since earlier this week, 
I had a customer decrease the tip. But it always works out. It always comes back full circle and works itself out. Then I took another Instacart order. It was paying only $13, but it was so easy. I just was like, might as well. Um, it's better than just sitting around. And right now I am in the parking lot of my favorite supermarket and I'm waiting to see, well, I just said I don't wanna sit around and wait, but I'm doing it now, uh, to see if I could just get one more order. And I think that would be it for the day for me. It is 12.50. So I kind of want to wrap it up early and this week early and get this video edited and uploaded to you guys. So I'm just going to wait for one more order and I am done. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, anyway, if I get another order, I'll come back. Okay, let's get into the numbers for this week. On Uber Eats, I made $61.35. DoorDash, I made $59.10. Shipped, $166.03. And Instacart, $751.26. I almost forgot to mention that I made $9.50 doing that merchandiser gig. So there you have it, the end of the video. Um, we are getting down to the wire. There are 10 days left in this September earnings challenge and I'm panicking because I don't know that I can do this, but I'm going to stay strong until the very end. Uh, just keep rooting me on because at this point, I just don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for coming back to see another video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Y'all can help me on YouTube here please um please share with your friends like comment subscribe and i will catch you on the next one bye